3.2.3 Shareholding of Bob Yates in board companies Comment on the price paid for the shares repurchased by Flex LTD provide two points Comment on the price paid Right, Flex LTD the repurchase price is dating run 20. Repurchase price is dating run 20. A repurchase price is dating run 20. And we want to comment on this price. This price, we can be able to comment on it having to look at the NAV. With how much is the value of our shares and how much are they sold for in the market. So the repurchase price is dating run 20, while the net asset value per share Flow Flexi LTD, the net asset value per share is 10 rand 81. 10 rand 81. The price is more than 13 rand 20 is more than the NAV, the net asset value per share of 10 rand 81. And even the market price. The market price, how much is the market price? The market price is 9 rand 90. So we are saying that Dayton Run 20 is not a fair price, not a fair price, not a fair price, as it is more than the value, which is NAV, and the market price. So this price that this shareholder charged us which is 13 rand 20 is not a fair price so 13 rand 20 is not a fair price because the company has paid 13 rand 20 which is more than the net asset value per share of 10 rand 81 cents and this price is even more than the market price if you can buy these shares these shares in the market we can only pay 9 rand 90 but we have paid 13 rand 20 for these shares so we are not happy if we have to comment about this price we are not happy with the price so this is our a question let us then go to our b question b question calculate the number of shares that bob purchased in broom ltd with the money he received from the share buyback at flex ltd for two marks calculate the number of shares bob purchased Bob purchased at Broom LTD with the money he received from the share buyback at Flex LTD. Okay, so let us then look at the number of shares. Funds used to repurchase shares is one million nine hundred and eighty thousand. The repurchase price is thirteen rand twenty. Increase in share capital. It is two million six hundred and forty thousand. Issue price of additional shares. It is six rand sixty. So let us calculate the number. The increase in the share capital is two million six hundred and forty thousand. And then the issue price of the additional shares it is six rand sixty. And remember, in the beginning. There is a statement here in the beginning which says Bob Yates own shares in both companies. On 1 November 2020, he convinced the board of directors of Flex Ltd to repurchase 150,000 of his shares. He used the money received to purchase additional shares in Broom Ltd. So the money that he received out of the repurchase of shares is 1,980,000. The money that he received it's one million nine hundred and eighty thousand the money he received funds used to repay it was one million nine hundred and eighty thousand and the issue price of the additional shares from broom ltd is six rand sixty it is six rand sixty 
So 1 million 980,000 divided by 900. We want to calculate the number of shares that he purchased. 1 million 980,000 divided by 660. That is 300,000 shares. This person purchased 300,000 shares. 300, we have the answer. Funds used to repurchase shares is 1,980,000. And then the issue price of additional shares is 660. So then 1,980,000 divided by 660 is giving us 300,000 shares. Okay, let us then go to shareholding of Bob Yates in both companies. That is information C. Shares in each company, Flexi LTD 2020, it was 533,500, but 2020 it is 283,500. Broom LTD 2020, it was 460,000. 41.8% and then 2021 it is not given and then 3.2.3 .3, it says explain the effect of the repage the share repurchased on the percentage shareholding of Bob Yates in each company explain the effect of the share repurchase on the percentage shareholding of Bob Yates in each company so if we look at Flexi LTD, that is C, Flexi LTD, the percentage shareholding was 51%. 433,500, it was 51%. And now, 2021, shares in each company, he owns 283,500. And the number of shares in issue for Flexi HD is 700,000. So we can be able to calculate the, the percentage that we have 283,500 over the total number of shares in issue, which is 700,000 for Flexi LTD, which is 700,000 multiplied by 100. 283,500 over 700,000 multiplied by 100. Let's get the percentage here. 283,500 divided by 40.5 283,500 shares divided by the number of shares in issue which is 700,000 multiplied by 100 40.5% Percentage shareholding decreased from it decreased from it was 51% from 51% to 40.5% lost the majority shareholding status right if we are looking at Bob Yates the percentage shareholding because U3.2.3 is asking us to explain the effect of the share repurchase on the percentage shareholding of Bob Yates in each company for four marks. So if you are looking at the percentage shareholding for Flexi LTD, 
if you look at the number of shares that he owns now is 283,500 out of the total number of shares which is 700,000 so 283,500 over 700,000 times 100 so the percentage shareholding is 40.5 percent so we are saying that the percentage shareholding decreased from 51 percent in 2020 to 40.5 percent 51 percent this person was a majority shareholder here he was a majority shareholder in this company but because of the shares repurchased then the percentage shareholding went down to 40.5 percent and therefore he lost the status that he lost the majority shareholder status from flexi ltd but let us then check with broom ltd let's check with broom ltd as to what happened let me just wrap here create a new space we are still discussing question 3.2.3 3.2.3 and we are C still C and then now we want to look at the percentage shareholding now in Broom LTD Broom LTD as to what happened with Broom LTD. Broom LTD, this person had 460,000 shares. 460,000 shares, and he purchased an additional of 300,000 shares. 300,000 shares plus 300,000 shares plus 300,000 shares, which now gives us a total of 760,000 over 760,000 shares over the total number of shares in issue for Prum LTD which is 1,500,000 1,500,000 1,500,000 shares multiplied by 100 so let us then check the percentage shareholding for Prum LTD 760,000 divided by 1,500,000 multiplied by 100 equals to let me it's 760,000 my zeros divided by 1,500,000 1, 2, 3, 500,000 multiplied by 100 50.6 percent that's equal to 50.6 percent 50.6 percent which is if you can round it off you can put it 51 percent it's 50.6 percent so his percentage shareholding with broom ltd percentage shareholding increased from 41.8 percent to 50.6 percent to 50.6 percent and then this person may now be regarded as a majority shareholder here so he lost the status of a majority shareholder from flexi ltd and this shareholder is now with broom ltd and he has gained the majority status from the new company so he lost the status in that one and gained the new status here which is the majority shareholder because he moved from 41.8 percent to 50.6 percent so that is the effect we have explained the effect of the shares repurchase on the percentage shareholding of Bob Yates in each company